you're, I got something good to say. Go ahead, say it. <laughs> Your life is worth at least twice of what the bail money was to me. Only 400 bucks, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish I could show you guys this footage. Blair just picked me up out of Pinellas County Jail for getting attacked by a patron from another bar that was up. mad. I Ubered you. I sent him. Oh, yeah, Uber. he, he Ubered me. But he paid my bail, went down there, he drove down there, gave him the bail money. I just got out now. It was 2 o'clock in the morning when they grabbed me. Yeah. It was four o'clock by the time I got to the jail for them to fabricate a story and figure out what was going on. They had like ten cops down there trying to figure out how to set me up, and they put me in jail this time. Okay, YouTube. Here's the charges. This one is for littering during a call for service where the police were in contact in reference to a belligerent male. Defendant was smoking a 305 cigarette during police contact. The defendant was standing in the public roadway. The defendant discarded said 305 cigarette into the public roadway and, and stated "fuck you." Okay. Then we get this. Did then and there engage in such a conduct as to constant disorderly conduct to wit. Clearwater police received two 911 call references the defendant getting into people's faces with a video camera, cell phone. Officers observed the defendant in the middle of the Kendall Street, chest bumping another subject. The defendant was taking a fighting stance, bowing his body, clenching his muscles, and saying, Take a swing multiple times. Reference fighting. The defendant was cursing and affecting the moral standards of the public, which constituted a breach of peace. Okay, when somebody's trying to fight you and they back you all the way into the street, a mm, couple hundred feet, and I've been backing up, telling them I don't have any beef with him, I don't have any problems with him, please leave me alone, get away from me. Uh, it was said a hundred times for that guy to get away from me. On top of that, same guy, the second time the police showed up to that bar, I said I wanted to press charges. That guy was threatening me. Another person, two other people were threatening me. The owner threatened me, and one guy assaulted me at that time. I asked a, a lieutenant if she, if I could make uh, file charges, and she ignored me, got in her car, and left. So that's pretty much the story right there, guys. And that's exactly what happened. The police stole my phone. I can't show you that video right now. I'm hoping to get my phone back tomorrow. If not, it's probably going to take something like Sean Paul Reyes to fight three, four months to get it, subpoena it in order to get it from my records for this case that I have to fight. When I went in front of that judge, she said it, she'll give me 60 days <laughs> to plea out. 60 days to plea out. This is the same judge that was in uh, the motorcycle accident or the motorcycle incident where they dislocated my arm and she put me in jail for four months for something that I've only did nine hours for, for uh, due to the fact that I asked her if I could represent myself and there's no law library. So how do I get in the law library? She immediately got angry and told me that I needed to, uh, I needed to have a public defender. For about 45 minutes, she tried to talk me into it and then the district attorney ran up uh, with a, I didn't show my ID to the police and I had a right not to give up my Fourth Amendment rights, so they charged me with obstruction at that point in time, and, I, and she, so she took my bond away. So it was either wait six months to go to trial or four months to beat it, or four, four months and I get out. I wasn't going to wait another two months in jail, so I pleaded guilty. Um, it's a shame, but that's how they work things around here, and I'm thinking they're going to do the same thing now, because I'm on bond now. They're going to charge me with something else, take away my bond, I'll probably be sitting in jail for two months for this. But I ain't going to stop. They aren't scaring me. If I got to spend two months in jail, so be it.